Hello students, good morning all of you. So today I am going to tell the chapter it is Ray Optics. So which is very a big chapter in class 12th. So this is very very important for IIT JE and NEET as well as board examinations. So before going to learn about the Ray Optics, so this is our introduction topic today. And please follow our channel and subscribe our channel for more videos. So I need your support for making good videos to learn about the physics. Okay, so let us start our topic. Ray optics. At first, optics it is the optics. Optics is the study of the light. Study of light. Okay, so light is the light is that a part of a part of electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum light is used to light is used to see an objects see an objects so here what is electromagnetic spectrum here the electromagnetic spectrum it is so here in the electromagnetic spectrum there are gamma rays uh, x rays ultraviolet and uh, vgr and as well as uh, infrared rays and microwaves and radio waves this is the spectrum the diagram of the spectrum which is the increasing of wavelength here if you are drawn this is the spectrum let it be where uh, at first this is the gamma ray and uh, these are the x-rays and uh, these are the ultraviolet and uh, these are the vgr these are the vgr and uh, this is the infrared this is the microwave and this is the radio wave. so this is the electromagnetic spectrum which is increasing of wavelength increasing of wavelength lambda right so here this one is this part is the visibility towards the visible nature having the light which is visible to us that is the vgr which was between 4000 angstrom to 8000 angstroms 4000 angstrom to 8000 angstroms okay right let's see here op so optics it is the optics it is first one it is the ray optics so which we are studying now and another it is the wave optics wave optics the ray optics which was the study about the the phenomenon which is in our day to day life day to day life okay so the dimension of dimension dimension of an object an object which is here it is mirrors mirrors lenses and prism and telescope so telescope microscope whatever the apparatus it is okay so this is the ray optics the ray optics discussing about the day to day life the phenomena which are which are happening in our day to day life so of course wave optics it is also the phenomena which is in our day to day life in our day to day life but it is impossible to uh, see our naked eye okay see our naked eye so this is the dimensions of object in the wave optics the dimensions of objects in the wave optics it is the slit or slit or that is holes 
So in the angst double set experiment already we've seen that. So we see we have to make two slits by the to make the diffraction pattern and also interference pattern. Interference. So interference or diffraction, these two are belongs to the wave optics. And here reflection and refraction these type of phenomenons are we okay so this is about the ray optics and this is about the wave optics okay clear so note it and now so about the light here the light is light is traveling light is traveling always in a straight line always in a straight line light is traveling always in a straight line so there is no bends in the there is no curved path of the light so the light will uh, must be travels in a straight line the straight line is called the straight line of light is called ray the straight line of light is called ray okay and then the bundle of the bundle of rays the bundle of rays are called are called beam of light beam so this is the ray and this is the bundle of rays are called beam so this is the beam of light okay so this is about the light and now we have to study about the reflection of light so very very important so reflection of light so what is the reflection here reflection of the light reflection so whenever it is we have to take a mirror so this is the mirror whenever the light will be incident so at first we have to take a normal line which is perpendicular to the mirror which is perpendicular to the mirror this is normal which can have in the 90 degrees and uh, this is the the light which is incidence the light which is incidence so this is the incident ray this is the incident ray and uh, which was which was bounce back to the same medium which was bounced back to the same medium is called reflected ray. so this is the reflected ray reflected ray and this is the incident ray incident and this is the normal okay so here the angle made by the normal and to the angle of incidence is taken as angle of incidence the angle made by the normal and to the angle of reflection is called angle of reflection okay so the reflected ray it is the which the ray which is bouncing back in the same plane in the same plane that is the reflected ray okay so here the loss of reflection or the loss of reflection very very important so for any mirror for any plane mirror or spherical mirror or circular and concave or convex whatever that is so here that is a plane mirror the first one it is the the angle of the angle of reflex the angle of incidence the angle of incidence that is angle i and angle of reflection angle of 
reflection that is angular is always equal always equal okay so that is angle of incidence is, is equal angle of reflection so this is the first laws of reflection we have to remember the second laws of reflection that is here the incident ray and the normal line and the reflected ray all these three are in the same plane all these three are in the same plane this is the plane here in this plane they have on the only one plane that is the they are in the same plane what are they incident ray incident ray and the normal and that is reflected ray reflected ray are in same plane in same plane so these two are very 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 important you have to remember these are applicable for all the mirrors all the plane mirrors either the mirror it is the in this shape either the mirror it is in this shape right either the mirror it is in this shape so whatever the shape of the mirror it is so here these are all applicable for the any type of the plane mirror any type of the plane mirror the first one it is the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection the second one it is the uh, incident ray and normal line and the reflected ray all these three are in the same plane all these three are in the same plane okay right so now let us see what is the angle of incidence and to the angle of reflection to the normal reflection to the normal reflection. let us see so for the normal reflection reflection very important normal reflection okay so what is the normal reflection here so here this is a here this is a mirror right so this is the normal line this is the normal line which you have to draw to the mirror and the reflection is normal the normal reflection normal reflection means the ray which is reflected is in the direction of is in the path of normal so this is the reflected ray if this is the reflected ray the angle of reflection and angle of incidence is same for the plane mirrors and here this is the angle of incidence at first this is the angle of incidence and it is the angle of reflection after incidence it will be reflected back okay now the angle of incidence it is equal angle of reflection it is equal zero zero because of so this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray right so what is the angle between these two these two are the parallel so the two parallel lines containing the angle it is zero that's why for the normal reflection the angle of incidence and angle of reflection is equal to the zero so first suppose this is a plane mirror which we have to assume here and um, this is the normal line which you have to draw and uh, this is the angle of incidence and it will be reflected back in this direction that is the reflection so here angle of incidence it is equal angle of reflection it is equal zero right so very very important for the normal reflection okay right so now let us see what is the formation of image by the mirror formation of images by the mirror right so before the formation of mirrors so we have to discuss some points the first one it is the 
types of the reflection types of reflection one it is the regular reflection regular reflection and uh, other it is the irregular reflection irregular reflection so in case of regular reflection so there is a plane surfaces the first surfaces which are not having the rough surfaces so this is the plane surface plane surface which we have seen plus so regular surface the regular reflection it is meaning that the surface it is plane which has no rough surfaces okay smooth surfaces it has smooth surfaces so when the light will be incident on the so this is the normal line the light will be incident on the smooth surface the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection right this is the reflected ray this is the incident ray but in case of irregular reflection these are having the rough surfaces rough surfaces okay so here this is the mirror which has rough surfaces which has rough surfaces this is the mirror here right so when the light will be incident on here then the reflection so this is the reflected ray and this is the normal here this is the angle of incident this is the angle of reflection okay so whenever the light will be incident whenever the light will be incident so the angle of reflection angle of incident is not equal so when the light will be incident on the rough surfaces the angle of reflection angle of reflection is in random way random way we cannot assume the angle of reflection but in case of regular reflection we can assume the angle of reflection which by the i value it is the known value and we can assume r is, is equal i so angle of r it is equal angle of i so this is the regular reflection this is the irregular reflection okay and now if the mirror will be rotating with the angle theta then what is the angle of reflection very important mirror is rotating rotating mirror is rotating with an angle theta then angle of reflection then angle of reflection so for suppose here this is the mirror this is the mirror here right this is the normal line okay this is the normal line and here angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection so this is r and this is i this is small i and this is small r if the prism if the mirror will be this is the mirror if the mirror will be rotating with some angle so this is the if the mirror will be rotating so this is the mirror here right this is the mirror here okay and this is the normal which you have to draw okay and then this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection or so this can be having the theta and it is theta so the angle of reflection is 2 theta the angle of reflection the angle of reflection reflection is 2 theta the angle of reflection is 2 theta where at which the mirror is rotating with an angle theta then the angle of reflection will be 2 theta 
okay remember this right now let us see what is the formation of uh, images by the mirrors very very important so let us see image formed by image formed by mirrors image formed by mirrors first one by a point charge by a point sorry point um, objects point objects so due to a point objects what is the image formed by the mirrors this is the point having the object and this is the mirror here this is the mirror okay and here the light the image will be incident in in this point and this is the incident and this is the reflected and this is the direction of the reflected okay and this is the light ray incident on the mirror and this is the reflection this is the reflection this is the direction of the reflection and this point the image will be formed so this is the o dash so here this is o and this is o dash that is image okay this is an object right the distance between these two the distance between these two are equal so if it is d distance it is also d distance okay the image formed by a point object the image will be formed the image will be formed inside the mirror image will be formed inside the mirror this is not back side this is not back side this is the inside the mirror and the image it is virtual image the image it is virtual image remember it virtual image so what is virtual image A image which can not be captured it cannot be stored that is the virtual image so ordinary uh, we have to in front standing in front of the mirror we can see our image in the mirror okay inside the mirror it is not back side the mirror okay that image is the virtual image we cannot be we cannot sustain that image forever okay it is not possible to sustain that that is the virtual image if it is possible to capture the image that is the real image okay right this is the formation of the image by the mirror by a point object by a point object to remember here by the point by the point object we can see the image we can see, we can see the image inside of the mirror inside of the mirror to recognize to recognize this to recognize this we can we can we can draw we can drop a perpendicular a perpendicular line on to the on to the mirror from from object to the image object to the image so we can draw a perpendicular line from the on to the mirror from object to the image right so this is the trick you have to uh, find the location of the image inside of the mirror inside of the mirror by the point objects so there is needed to there is a chance to here the enlarged objects are also there or extended objects are there okay so this is the image formed by the point 
objects. Here, the object distance, object distance is equal to the image distance. Very important, object distance is equal to the image distance. The object distance that is u and uh, the image distance that is v in case of plane mirrors in case of plane mirrors u is equal to v in case of plane mirrors u is equal v okay the ratio of the ratio of the ratio of object distance object distance and to the image distance object distance and to the image distance is called magnification so this is the m here yeah. magnification is the object distance and to the image distance the ratio between object distance and to the image distance it is u by v right so in case of plane mirrors this can be equal to 1 so u is equal to v always u is equal to v always right keep this in our mind the object distance is equal to image distance by the point objects we have to uh, locate the image then we have to draw the normal line from the object and to the image on to the mirror on to the mirror so this is the basic sense you have to remember and now the image formed by the mirrors due to extended objects extended object okay extended object so first suppose uh, for the point objects here the mirror is like this this is the mirror okay and now the point is here this is the object and now how you can find the image the location of the image we have to draw a normal we have to draw a normal to the object to the image object to the image onto the onto the mirror right so now the ray diagram of which is it can be instant and reflected the direction of the instant here the direction of the incident and here incidents reflection the direction of the reflection so this is the image here right this is the method we have to find the image of the object which is point okay now let us see image formed by extended extended object extended object or enlarged object enlarged object okay this is a mirror this is the object which is a and b which is a and b a b is the a b is the object here a b is the object here right so this is the point and at this point we have to draw a normal to this direction and this is the point a dash and this is the normal line we have to draw here this is the point b dash so here a dash b dash is the a dash b dash is the image here a dash b dash is the image this is the object so by the diagram ray diagram so this is the incident ray and uh, this is the normal which is reflected okay and uh, so this is the reflected and as well as 
we have to draw here the line which is from the dash. Okay. So this is the image formation by the formation by the enlarged object or the extended object whereas a dash b dash. Here the distance between the distance between object and to the image that is the object and to the image that is the same L and L. Okay. Right? This is the image formed by the image formed on the mirrors by the extended objects. Extended object. But suppose this is a mirror. Here there is a man in front of the mirror. The image of the man will be into the mirror, inside of the mirror that is A dash B dash. Okay. Right. So now let us see some concepts where the minimum length required to the mirror, the minimum length required to the mirrors. Numerical that is uh, find the coordinate coordinates of the image coordinates of the image where which the diagram it is so this is the mirror and uh, this is the x axis sorry y axis and uh, this is the y axis and this is the x here the theta it is 45 degrees the distance of object it is the 2 centimeter okay find the coordinate of the image option 0 comma 2 0 comma root 2 0 comma minus 2 and 0 comma minus root 2 these are the options here let us write so here there is the image there is a mirror it is m so this is the object here if the light rays will be incident on here there is no mirror so it is extended the mirror like this okay so now this is the mirror right this is the 45 degrees and this is also having 45 degrees so this is the normal line which is for the having 90 degrees to the object so this is the 45 degrees okay now let us find so this is the hypotenuse of this triangle hypotenuse of the triangle hypotenuse it is equal to 2 centimeter then the side and side to the what is that hypotenuse square it is equal side square plus side square that is root 2 square plus root 2 square under root okay it is equal how much 2 plus 2 it is equal under root 4 it is equal to then it is what is that here root 2 and root 2 this side is root 2 this side is root 2 okay and uh, this is the the line which is this is the line which you have to write here and uh, this is the length how much this length has these two triangles are having this is also 2 cm 2 cm and 2 cm okay and this is also root 2 okay so now that is here theta it is equal this is the theta 90 degrees and this is 45 and this is 45 here right and then what is that 2 cos 45 2 cos 45 it is here 2 into cos 45 1 by root 2 it is root 2 into root 2 by 1 by root 2 it is root 2 so then it is the root 2 here okay now the image it is here it will be forming the object image will be here this is the image so the image distance at to the 2 centimeter 
So these are the coordinates of 0 comma 0 and the, these are the coordinates of 0 comma minus 2. This is positive x axis, this is negative y axis, sorry, positive y axis, negative y axis. And then x coordinate is the 0 and y coordinate is the minus 2. This is the option I have to write. Okay. Clear? This is the coordinates of the image. And now let us see one more. The image formed by the... Now let us see the image formed by the mirrors due to due to extended object extended object so in before we can see that is point object which we have seen in our earlier now we have to see the extended object okay here this is the mirror this is the mirror and uh, there is a extended object that is A and B. This is the extended object. The distance of L. Now the image will be formed inside the mirror as the distance it is same distance as far of the object from the mirror. Mirror nunchi object and the door lo are lo mirror lobla. So same distance lo image will be formed. So this is the image, the image which is, this is A dash and this is B dash. So A dash, B dash. So this is the object and this is the image and this is virtual image, virtual image. Okay. So coming to the ray diagram, so that is so this light ray will be incident and uh, this will be reflex in this direction and uh, this is the position of the, the direction of the reflector and similarly this is the incident ray and uh, this is the reflected and uh, this can be this is the direction of the reflect direction of the reflect okay direction of the reflect right so this is the ray diagram about the image formed by the mirrors due to extended object so this image is virtual image this image is the object to the mirror the distance from the mirror to object that is the denoted by the letter u here so this is the u right and uh, here the distance from the mirror to image that is the v the ratio of these two gives us the magnification magnification so what is magnification here so magnification m it is equal v by u where v it is equal to u in case of plane mirrors v is equal to u in case of plane mirrors whereas you can write that m it is equal to 1 so here this is 1 here ok so this is the image formed by the extended object the object it is in whatever the shape of the object either it is object it is in circular shape object it is in triangular shape object it is in straight line so whatever the shape of the object it is if there is a mirror that size of and that distance the image will be found there right now let us see about the clock so the image is the mirror image of the clock very important concept mirror image Okay, right. So this is a mirror, and uh, here there is a 
clock which was shown the time like this so now this is the 3 and 12 and 6 and 9 now the time it is how much 3 so this is the object to the mirror now so that the, the image should be the virtual image should be formed here so the virtual image should be formed here that is here this is the image where this will be like this so this is the mirror image whereas 9 3 12 6 now the mirror image it is 9 okay and one more this is the mirror and uh, there is a clock having this is the time 6 3 9 12 and this is the minutes hand now the time it is 6 o'clock the mirror image will be formed behind the mirror and as well as same distance of the object that is here now that is this is 3 12 9 6 same as that of that place okay again it is seems to be 6 o'clock right in case of 12 it is 3 hours 45 minutes 54 seconds then find the mirror image if the time shown shown in front of in front of the mirror then find time in the mirror find the time in the mirror how we can find this let us see the simple trick it is whatever the time will be given we have to measure easily so it is clock trick this clock trick now the clock trick it is the time will be mentioned in hours minutes and seconds hours minutes seconds first we have to convert the 12 hours into this pattern that is what is the 12 hours will be 11 hours 59 minutes and 60 seconds 11 hours 59 minutes 60 seconds 60 seconds are 1 minute 1 minute will be added to the 59 minutes that is 1 hour 60 minutes is the 1 hour 1 hour should be added to the 11 hours then it will be 12 hours now we have to subtract the time which was given that is 3 45 54 right now the right time in the mirror it is 6 0 it is 4 1 okay 8 so 8 hours 14 minutes and 6 seconds so this is the right time in the mirror this is the mirror image mirror time mirror time this is the actual time actual time so this is the pattern we have to see so at first we have seen that the 3 hours and 12 9 6 this will be this will be in the mirror it is 6 hours okay so how it is so this is 9 hours this is the this is the mirror and this is the actual real let us see how it is by this method here 3 o'clock it is the 
What is that? Will be converted as 2 hours, 59 minutes, 60 seconds. Now, already you know that the 12 hours which will be subtracting from the 12 hours, that is 11 hours, 59 minutes and 60 seconds. Now, we have to subtract 0, 0 and 0, 0 and uh, 9. Okay? 11 minus 2, it is 9. It will be 9 o'clock. Clear? So, this is the method we have to find the mirror image of the clock. Mirror image of the clock, whatever the time they will be given to us, we have to subtract from the 12 o'clock, will be converted as 11 hours, 59 minutes, 60 seconds. So, what they given to us, that will be also written in the terms of this type. Okay? So, this is the method. So, this is the trick for clock image. That is the minimum required length of the mirror. Minimum required length of the mirror to see the full image. To see the full image. So, the question it is a boy of height h wants to see wants to see his full image his full image in a mirror in a mirror in a plain mirror plain mirror then find the minimum required minimum required length of the mirror minimum required length of the mirror minimum required length of the mirror ok so we can solve this a boy of height h wants to see his full image in a plane mirror so then find the minimum required length of the image so one image me full image laga chudalante mirror yokka height entha undali antadu so mirror height should be that is h by 2 mirror height should be h by 2 so h it is the height of the boy or height of the object the mirror should be definitely the height of the mirror it is h by 2 for suppose if a person if a man has 6 feet of height then the mirror must be 6 by 2 it is 3 feet of height mirror if he can standing in front of the 3 feet of mirror then he can see full image then he can see his full image ok so how can how it is possible let us see right so this is a mirror this is the so this is the mirror this is the mirror and here there is a person there is a boy so the boy should be so this is the head of the boy this is the these are the eyes of the boys boy and uh, this is the foot of the boy let us zoom so the image should be this is the total height of the boy this much of image should be found here already if you see that so if it is a point object then we can draw on the perpendicular to the perpendicular to the virtual image virtual image on to the mirror so here there is a image point here there is a image point and here there is a image point ok and now this is the image that is a dash b dash b dash c dash here this is a and b and c here let us assume right so the eyes of a boy should be seen the image so here this is the image seen by the person and it will be 
reflects here, it will be reflected in this type. This is the reflection, this is the incidence, and this is the this can be seen by the person. Okay, and here this is the reflection. Right? So this is the ray diagram about this. The length of the void that is the L here from the mirror to man. The distance of the image formed here also L. Okay. So here in this, this these are two triangles are there. Two triangles. One it is the B A dash B dash B A dash B dash and also one more B B dash C dash B B dash C dash. So here the point which is that is P. Here the point which is the Q. Here the point which is R. P Q R. So here this is the one of the triangle, right? This one. This is the one of the triangle, and another triangle. This is the another triangle. Okay. So now it is easy to find the distance of the the minimum required length of the mirror. Minimum required length of the mirror. Okay. Now let us see. Here there are two similar triangles are there. In the two similar triangles, it is here two similar triangles. Two similar triangles are there. It is what are they? It is B A dash B dash B A dash B dash and B P Q B P Q and B P Q. So once again we have to check here. So this is the point B, right? And this is the B dash. Okay, this is the B dash, and here this is the point A dash, which is A dash, right? Here this is the P and Q. This is the P and Q. Here this is the B A dash B dash. B A dash B dash is the one triangle, and B P Q is the another triangle. These are actually similar triangles. So from the similar triangles, we have to say that the ratio of sides is always equal. The ratio of sides. So let us see. Right, B B dash, B to B dash. That is the L plus L two L distance. B B dash is the two L distance. B B dash is two L L plus L. And uh, B Q it is the B Q it is the L here. B Q is L. Okay, that's so why remaining all the terms we have to find here. So that is A dash B dash by P Q. A dash B dash by P Q. So this side by this side. Okay, and uh, this side by this side. Okay, and it is B B dash B B dash by B B dash by B Q B B dash by B Q. Okay, A dash B dash by what is P Q here? The P Q it is. Let me know that is P Q it is. Let us X. Let you have to. Make it as x. Okay, so P Q is the x here. We don't know the height of the mirror. Let the part of P Q is the let it be x. And B B dash B to B dash B B dash it is the two L two L by what is B Q B to Q. So that is B Q it is equal to L L L gets cancelled and uh, A dash B dash it is equal to two into x A dash B dash is equal 2x. So here a dash b dash it is the 2x. What is a dash b dash? The length of the the height of the image on of the part in the height of the image that is 2x. Right. Now the one more similar triangles are there here b b dash c dash and b q r. Okay. So let us see. 
the one more similar triangle that is b b dash so this is the b dash and this is b and here this is the c dash okay this is the similar triangle where it is q and r so q r already we don't know the q r value that is why okay b c dash b2 c dash that is l plus l that is 2l b c dash is the 2l and b r what is b r so we don't know the b r so b r it is the l so now let us write by the similar triangles the sides of the ratio of the sides are equal the ratio of sides are equal okay so let us note it a dash b dash it is 2x right again we want to see so here from the second triangle right uh, this one we have to write that is b b dash what is that b dash c dash so this side b dash c dash by q r it is equal b c dash by b r b dash c dash by q r it is equal q r it is equal y q r this is y it is equal b c dash b 2 c dash l plus l it is 2l 2l by b r b r it is equal l l l get cancel b dash c dash it is equal to y b dash c dash it is equal to y that is the 2 y here from this one to this one okay so what is this a dash b dash b dash c dash this is the a dash to c dash this is the size of the image but what we have to need here we need to find minimum required length of the mirror what is the minimum required length of the mirror from p to r only from p to r so p to r means p to q it is the x q to r it is the y x plus y it is the here x plus y it is the height of the mirror height of the mirror so this image should be equal to height of the boy so what is the height of the boy at first the height of the boy it is the capital h the height of the boy let us write height of the boy okay height of the boy capital h it is equal what is that 2x plus 2y 2x plus 2y height of the boy it is equal to 2x plus 2y right and uh, we need to find x plus y x plus y it is the what is the x plus y here minimum height required to the mirror so this mirror it is not needed to find the height this mirror is also not this part is also not required the minimum required length it is the only this part okay that is the x plus y therefore height of the mirror height of the mirror height of the mirror x plus y it is equal what is that if x plus y will be common here 2 will be common 2 will be common that is x plus y so this 2 will be comes this side then it is h by 2 the x plus y it is equal to h by 2 the h by 2 distance will be needed the minimum height of mirror required to see the full image of a boy in front of a mirror the minimum required length it is the h by 2 so my little um dressing mirrors gani wall mirrors gani bedroom lo pette mirrors gani vey chestaru so minimum 6 feet height untaru kabatti maximum 6 feet height unna persons ni dushlo unchukoni minimum 3 feet undi laga mirror ni set chestuntaru endukante full image kanapadtaru kosu okay so dancing room lo gani yoga room lo gani uh, gyms lo gani so pette tondi mirrors anni kuda aa vidhanga set chestaru clear so this is the minimum required minimum uh, required length of the mirror to see the full image how much that is h by 2 h it is the height of the object next question it is a boy is standing in midway
from the wall wall of height h and to the plane mirror and to the plane mirror now find find the minimum required length of the mirror the minimum required length length of the mirror so that he can see to he can see to full image full image of the wall okay let us see the boy is standing in midway to the wall of height h and to the mirror and to the plane mirror now find the minimum required length of the mirror so that he can see the c2 full image of the wall so boy in this sense mirror ki wall ki madhyalo nilchunadu mirror ki wall ki madhyalo unnadu wall yokka height h aa wall ni poorthi image full size of image chudalante mirror yokka length entu undali mirror yokka height entu undali okay right let us see so this is a wall this is the wall having the height h this is the wall here there is a boy who is standing midway to the mirror so the distance it is d wall to the man and in the same distance there is a mirror so this is the mirror here okay so what is the minimum required length of the mirror to see the full image of the wall to see the full image of the wall already you know that the image this is the object to the mirror this is the point then you have to see the image in the same distance that is at this point and the same image at this point where well, this is the image of the wall image of the wall that is a dash b dash here a dash b dash in the same distance how much distance it is how much distance it is d plus d 2d distance d plus d 2d at this much of distance the image will be formed this is the distance here 2d right man can be observes the image right so this is the incident and this can be reflects here this can be reflected right so this is the image he can observe this is the reflects okay and this is the distance between the wall and to the man where it is d plus d 2d 3d so this is a dash b dash c dash so here let it be a c okay here there are two there are two similar triangles are there this point it is the and this point this point this is the p q r p q it is the x q r it is the y okay this is the one of the triangle and this is the one of the triangle in the same pattern we have to find this so here the answer it is where it is h by 3 so now let us try it the answer it is h by 3 how it is right here there are two similar triangles are there the first one it is the c a dash c dash and c p q c p q this is the one of the triangle where this is the c and this is the c dash and this is the a dash here 
right? This is the P and the Q. P Q is the X here. P Q is the X. C C dash. C two C dash. This is the D and two D. It is three D here. And C Q. What is C Q? C Q it is the the distance of D. C Q is the D. Now let us write A dash C dash by P Q. It is equal C C dash by C Q. A dash C dash by P Q it is equal to X and C dash C C dash it is 3D by C Q C Q it is the D D D cancelled out where A dash C dash it is equal to 3 into X so this is the value of A dash C dash this is the 3X okay now find C dash B dash from the triangle this similar triangle this similar similar triangle we have to make this as this is the c c dash c c dash and b dash here this is the b dash where this is the triangle here and this is the q and the r c2 b dash it is the d plus 2d 3d here this is the 3d and c r c2 r it is the d now let us write c dash b dash by Q R it is equal to C B dash by C R. What is C dash B dash by Q R it is equal Q R it is equal Y here. So Q R it is equal Y. Okay. Now let us see C B dash. C B dash it is the three D and C R it is the D D D cancel out and C dash B dash is equal C dash B dash it is equal three Y. So this is the three y here. Now let's see. So three x plus three y. It is the full size of the full image of the wall. This is the wall. The full image of the wall. It is the three x plus three y. Okay. So full image of wall. Full image of wall. It is three x plus. That is the h. It is equal three x plus three y. How much the full image that is h? H it is equal three x plus three y. Now the size of the mirror it is the height required to the mirror, the length required to the mirror to see the full image of the wall that is x plus y. From this you can substitute that is x plus y. This is the h therefore x plus y, which is meant for minimum length required to the mirror. So here there is no need of this mirror. And here there is no need of this mirror. The mirror it is how much height it contains? That is only h by three of height. First suppose wall height of the wall height of the wall it is equal twelve meters. Then to see the full image of the twelve meters height of the wall which is which is behind the man, then the then The mirror required the height of the mirror required that is height of the mirror h of mirror that is 12 by 3 it is equal 4 meter so 4 meters of mirror lo 12 meters of height unna 20 back side unna 20 wall ni full image ni chudochu deenni inko la gedutadante ee midway badulu so in midway center of the room center of the room so if you remember that if a man comes standing at the center of the room okay center of the room to the wall and height of edge and to the plane mirror so center lo mirror vattadu so center ante midway so what we do same distance like the mirror undi the wall undi center lo unnadu so that is the h by 3 so this is the basic in form the ray uh, optics so please subscribe my channel so please follow my channel so like share comment i need your support so please 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 support my channel please subscribe thank you thank you one and all